Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina and I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be my May favorites and I'm kind of excited about this because I have some products that I don't think I've even shown to you guys yet because I recently got them but I haven't really shown them in a haul or anything. So let's get started. <laughs> I also have two fails this month, which I don't usually have, but these products just did not work out for me. So I'm going to share those at the end as well. In no particular order, I'm just going to grab a face primer here. This is kind of a funny story because when I first got this, I was really scared to put it all over my face. This is the Olay Fresh FX Clear Skin Mattifier. So basically it is a primer, a mattifying primer, and you guys know I have oily skin, so I was intrigued by it. But it has such a strong fragrance that I was really scared it was going to break out my sensitive skin. Long story short, I ended up finally putting it all over my face, and it is amazing, you guys. This is the most mattifying product that I've ever used. So putting it under my foundations, I know that my foundation is going to stay all day and be matte all day. So this is really good, and you can get it at the drugstore. Going along with that, this is a hard candy setting spray. And I kind of have like a hate-love relationship with setting sprays because... I've tried a few and then I just kind of gave up on them because I didn't really find that they did anything for me. This though is the Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. It's about $8, 6 to $8 and you can get it at Walmart. And it is just so hydrating and refreshing on the skin. It's perfect for like the summer days where you just want a light mist and it's going to make your makeup look fresh and just glowy but still keep everything in place and make it last really long as well. This is a really great product and if you guys want a full review on it, I can definitely do that as well. This is definitely an oldie but a goodie. I always kind of forget about this palette and then when I open it up, I'm like, why haven't I been using this? This is the Sephora Natural Instincts palette. This palette just screams universal to me, but it really screams the spring and summertime because of these beautiful warm shades. And then you have some pops of blue, a beautiful olive green, and you have an array of mattes and shimmers in here. I definitely like the mattes more than the shimmery shades. These aren't like metallic but they still have a really nice sheen to them. But these matte shades are just beautiful. Another palette that I cannot put down right now is the City Color Timeless Beauty Palette. This you can get at City Color's website, and it is just stunning, you guys. These right here, it comes with like three bronzers, highlighters, slash blushes, and then you get four trios of eyeshadows. I posted a picture on Instagram recently, which I'll pop in right here, of me using pretty much this trio right here and a little bit of this one. And it creates the most beautiful sun-kissed bronze look that is perfect for summer. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that look, because I'm thinking about doing it anyways, let me know because this palette is stunning and it's really affordable as well. So I'll leave their link down below. The foundation that I've been using this month the most is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. You know this is one of my top five favorites. I talk about it all the time, and I'm using the shade 220, and sometimes I mix it with the shade 228. This is the foundation that I have on my face right now. It keeps me matte, hides my pores, and it lasts a really long time as well while being kind of full coverage but natural at the same time. It does everything that I want in a foundation, and that's why I like it so much. Along with that, for concealer, I've been loving the Maybelline The Fit Me line. I kind of rotate through my concealers. A lot of them are Maybelline concealers that I love, and I actually just recently did my top five favorite concealers for under eye dark circles, so I'll link that video down below, along with my top five favorite foundations in case you've missed that video or you're curious, but this stuff is amazing. It is so full coverage, but it's still really blendable and lightweight so it doesn't look cakey. You do have to make sure that you do set it with a powder though because this will crease under your eyes, but I just love it. It is the concealer that I have under my eyes right now and it's the only concealer that I have under my light eyes, so this I highly recommend if you haven't tried it yet. Next, this is something that's pretty new to me as well, but I have been loving it. I finally got my hat, my, my, my what? <laughs> Anyways, this is something that I've been recently trying out as well, and I have been loving it. This is the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade, and I know um, Anastasia is very well known for her brow pomades, and I wanted to get my hands on it, but I just recently started getting into my brows, like really playing around with them, so I just didn't really want to spend that much money, to be honest. This, though, I found at the drugstore, and it was only like 5 to $8, and I got mine in the shade, I think it's light brown which is a pretty neutral medium brown, I think, and it's what I have on my eyebrows right now, and I have been loving it, you guys. It does also come with a brush that has a spoolie on one side and then an angled tip, and I do use this brush, and I really, really like it. I just wanted, I use powders a lot and sometimes pencils, so I wanted to try a pomade because I've just heard such great things about pomades because you can really define and carve out your brow. So this I've really, really been enjoying. I might do a full tutorial on it as well. I have not been able to put this blush down. This is a City Color B Matte Blush. It's one of their new releases. I've talked about it quite a few times in my recent videos. 
It's in the shade Sweet Pea, and it is just the most beautiful, neutral, everyday, universal blush. A lot of people I've noticed are comparing this to Melba by MAC. I think this has a little bit more peach than, Mel peach than Melba, but it's still a beautiful blush. It is so creamy and just feels like velvet. It is so smooth. And you guys know my love for the City Color Be Matte blushes. I have a bunch of them, and I just... I think they're awesome, and the fact that they're matte is something that I really enjoy as well because you're not putting glitter on your face in places that you might not want to. And these little guys only retail for $4.99. Next, I had to give a shout out to this e.l.f. Mineral Powder. This is one of their bronzers. It's in the shade uh, Caramel Cabana, and I love this stuff. I also had another one that was a little bit deeper than this. These are really affordable as well. You can get them off of e.l.f.'s website or at Target, and they're completely matte, and they are so pigmented. I really like using this one to kind of bronze up my neck area, my decollete, when I want just more of a sun-kissed look and kind of even everything out and have that bronzed glow. But I also like to use on my face as a bronzer, and the deeper one I would use on my face as a contour. It is just an amazing product with an amazing formula for such an affordable price. This is one of their new highlighting wands that they came out with. This is in the shade Blush Wine, and it's like that perfect mixture of like pink, champagne, rose gold, all in one. And it has a little doe foot applicator, and this is what it looks like, and then you can just blend it out. And it has the most beautiful sheen. It's so stunning. It's what I have on my cheekbones right now, and I just cannot get enough of this highlighter. And what I love about it is once it does set, it's pretty much waterproof. Like, it is not going to budge. It's not going to smear down your face if you're sweating or anything, especially through the summer months. It's just an amazing product, and again, it's super, super affordable. We have two lip products that I want to talk about. This is one of the hard candies. These are new. You guys know I picked up one of these in the shade um, Idolize a couple weeks ago, or maybe last month, and I really liked it. It's more of like a deeper mauve. So then I picked up the shade Prominent, and this is really similar to Revlon's Super Lustrous line of lipsticks with the shade Primrose. So this is what the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Primrose looks like right here. This is what Prominent looks like. They are a tiny bit different in color, but they're really similar. And I actually kind of like the formula of the one from Hard Candy more. It's very moisturizing, and it's just that perfect everyday pink that's going to look amazing on everyone. And these little guys only retail for $5, so that's always a bonus. They're new, so they have about 10 in their collection. I picked up two of them, and I kind of want to get some more as well. But it's just a really stunning shade, and it's so moisturizing and hydrating. Another lip product that I wanted to mention is, this is a ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is in the shade Westy. I don't know what it's been about pink slate. You guys know I love my purples. I kind of have purple going on right now. But this is a beautiful pink as well, and it is a matte finish. And it's, again, just like that mid-tone peak. It's a little bit deeper than Primrose and Prominent that I just showed you. But it is so stunning, and it looks good on everyone. And I really like this when I have a tan as well. So that was one of my favorites. So two fails, which I'm really bummed that I have fails because... I try and use products different ways to find a way that I can really enjoy them. First one is, this is a Hard Candy Sheer Envy uh, Concealer. You guys know that I talked about this when I had it in a haul a while back, maybe about a month or two ago. And it had, it was like a 10-in-1 concealer. It had so many claims, and I just cannot get it to work for me. So, it's just really hydrating, which is good, I guess. But putting it under my eyes, which I do have really dry under eyes, here it is swatched, it just doesn't cover anything, it doesn't do anything to my dark circles, it doesn't do anything good for me, and if I try and put it under my eyes and then layer another concealer on top of it, it just looks cakey almost, which is weird because it's so hydrating. Needless to say, I cannot get this to work for me. Let me know if you guys have this and how you found it to work for you if you have, because I really want to like it. You guys know, like I said, I always try and find different ways that I can use a product so that I can still use it up, but this one I just can't do it. My other fail, this is the Tresemme Fresh Start um, Volumizing dry, sh dry Shampoo. This is a new formula. This is probably the worst dry shampoo that I have tried, and that's really sad to say, but it just doesn't do anything for oils in my hair. And it also doesn't volumize. It's really disappointing because Tresemme is usually really good, and I really like it with my hair. Their shampoo, their creams, their conditioner, everything. But this does absolutely nothing to my oils. Hey guys, that was it for my beauty favorites and two fails. So miscellaneous favorite that I always like to do is the favorite show that I'm watching. You guys know I had been watching Gossip Girl a lot and I had been watching Friends. Of course, those are like cult favorites that I just always love. 
and Revenge, which I actually still need to watch the finale on that because I believe that just came out recently. I still need to catch myself up on the finale. But right now, my favorite show is Arrow. And it's actually a show that my boyfriend and I are watching together, which I love when we find a show that we both really enjoy. And yeah, so we just started that. We're about 10 episodes in, and it is so good. I decided that CW, pretty much any shows that they come out with, is something that I'm going to really like. So let me know down below what are your favorite shows. Let me know down below what are some of your favorite products that you've been loving this month. Hey guys, so that completes this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. Good, but right now we are at 7.58. We have two minutes left. So I'm going to conceal Bob. This is Bob right here. I mentioned him in my last video where I introduced him and he will not go away. He finally flattened out, but he's still just really red. So I'm going to try and conceal him. 